Okay, now that everything is dry, we're going to finish up this painting. I um, traced around some pieces with black Sharpie just for fun, just to see what it would happen. Um, it didn't really seem to make it a difference either way. <laughs> so if you want to trace yours, if you have a Sharpie and you want to trace around it, you can. If you don't, that's okay. Um, like I said, it didn't really seem to make a huge impact one way or the other. So what we're going to do now is we are going to um, sketch in with the charcoal again our window panes, our window seal, the curtain, and the cat. <laughs> There's a lot going on here. So first of all, I'm going to start, and I'm just sketching, lightly sketching. I'm going to make the window panes kind of um, over here. They're not exactly centered because the curtain is going to um, go over here, and that will kind of help balance it out. So just real lightly go down to about maybe an inch and a half from there. Just one line down. Then I'm going to come over here and go one line. And this line's going to go all the way to the bottom. Okay. So we have a line going all the way to the bottom, a line going to about an inch and a half from the bottom. Then starting here, go across this way and up here, go across this way. Now at first this looks really confusing, but just bear with me, <laughs> okay? This is the curtain, this is the window panes, this down here is the ledge where the cat is sitting and looking out the window. So we're just going to draw the silhouette of our cat. So you can make him as detailed as you want, but since he is a black silhouette, um, I'm just going to keep mine pretty simple. Just a round head and kind of a body like that. Make his tail go up. Give him a couple of kitty cat ears. Okay, just like that. <clears throat> Hope you can see him okay. Pause if you need to. If I get to going too fast, you can pause. Okay. Now I'm going to start <clears throat> with the window panes. So I'm going to make my window panes dark blue with this um, dark blue paint that we've been using. Only I'm not going to lighten it up. I've been lightening it up on the other stuff, but this this part I'm just going to leave dark. So I'm going to go across here. I'm going to skip over the cat that I have sketched in there. Cross. Okay, then up here, gonna go across the same way. That dark blue got some water in it. I'm gonna do a double line on this one to thicken it up a little bit and cover up my mistake. <laughs> My little smudge. Okay, now <clears throat> we're going to do this one.
It will start making sense soon, I promise. <laughs> I promise. Okay, I'm gonna do the ledge down here now that the little cat is sitting on, and I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. When you are trying to cover up something down here that you've already painted with acrylic paint, and it's really bright like this turquoise, you wanna add a little white to whatever color you're using to cover that over. The white will work to cancel out the color that's there, and then the yellow will go ahead and be the color that I want for the window seal. So I'm just gonna mix in a little bit of white with that yellow. Strange but true how it works. That blue is still wet, so I gotta be really careful that I don't smear it into my yellow. Okay, made a tiny little mistake right there, but I'm gonna go back when that yellow dries and I can fix that really easily. Okay, so the window seal is done. The window panes are done. Now I'm gonna work on this curtain over here and the curtain is really, I think what makes the painting. It is so cute. And the way it is, the space that it takes up kind of draws your attention in. I just, I love this idea of putting this curtain over here. So I'm gonna mix up some orange. I've already got yellow on here, so I'm just gonna start with just, oops, tiny bit of red that may even be too much. <laughs> See what I can do here with that. Kind of a salmon-y color. I like that. Add some more yellow. Probably gonna add some more red too because I don't think I have enough mixed up to cover that whole space there. <clears throat> Looks like ketchup and mustard. It looks like Freddy's fry sauce. Do y'all ever eat at Freddy's? <laughs> this color makes me think of their fry sauce. which I'm pretty sure is just ketchup and mustard mixed together. Okay, now that I've got some orange, I'm gonna paint my curtain over here. I'm gonna mix in some white. I'm just gonna mix white right straight on the canvas to um, help cover up the stuff underneath. Of course that lightens your color a little bit, so you have to take that into consideration when you're when you're mixing it. But it sure does help to cover up that stuff that's underneath. A little artist trick there. Okay, and since that is so light, <clears throat> I'm gonna let it dry for a second while I'm working on the cat, and then I'm gonna come back to it and put some um, of this darker shade on top of it to darken it up a little bit. 
Okay, let's move on to little kitty cat down here. I'm gonna make him black so we can see a silhouette and I'm not even gonna squirt this out on my, on my plate because I'm not gonna do any mixing. So I'm just gonna use it right out of the little jar here. And with a tiny brush, I'm gonna paint his silhouette. his little shoulders in and down his back. cat ears. Okay, now let's come over here and paint his swishy tail. And then lift up your brush on the end to let it come to a little point like that. Now, while I'm still waiting for this to dry a little bit more, it's getting there, but I'm gonna wait a little bit longer. I'm gonna come touch up this window pane where I got the yellow paint in a place I didn't want it. So just with a tiny brush, I'll just fix that there. If you need to go back over anything, you can certainly do a second layer of paint wherever you feel like you need to do that. I'm just touching up some areas here that didn't get a real thick layer the first time and I want them to really be bold. So going back over them again, oops. Okay, 